Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. As always, we invite everybody to join us over on Patreon, exclusive videos several times a week. And again, everything does go up on Patreon. We tend to work, to basically go back and forth between Evolutionary and EE Arts uh, as far as alternating videos. And then we do go up on Rumble, Brightian, and BitChute as well. Indeed. I hope you guys enjoy some of it. So this time uh, we wanted to focus, or at least I wanted to focus on this. And one of the things that was mentioned by many um, analysts that study monetary policies and functions in war on a great big scale will tell you there has to be a cutting away point before a greater conflict starts like we saw in WW1 and WW2. And really that cutting away point uh, is, is there. So we're there at this point in time. And now this is just really about um, people picking sides. It's like, you know, remember back in school where you pick teams for dodgeball or something? Well, now you're going down the line and obviously, you know, the, the big players have been picked on each side. And now you got the smaller players, you know, uh, saying, OK, I'm going with this one or I'm going with this one. And what we have here is Nigeria and other countries pulling their gold from the U.S. Uh, gold is <coughs> tangible and real. And it means a lot to the Anunnaki. So we know uh, there is value in gold. And actually, we, we've talked about this before. Why is gold valuable? Well, it has properties that most people don't understand. It, it's very, very valuable for consciousness and health and life extension. It is. I, I mean, I think it's the life extension. If you, if you look to uh, stories of people finding gold in the oceans... I mean, there might be gold down there under the ocean for a few hundred years. And if you pull it up and look at it, it's still in really good shape. So gold definitely holds its form. It has some really cool attributes to it if you if you know what to do with it. So it's, it's very important. It's a very important uh, thing here for us earthlings and for those who are not so earthlings. Absolutely. <clears throat> so Ghana, Nigeria, Cameroon, Saudi Arabia, the list goes on. They're all pulling uh, their gold reserves out of the U.S. When, and that's not it, just it as well. As we've seen, the U.S. and France and, and the U.K. too, um, persona non grata when it comes to having foreign troops in many countries. Uh, the colonial age really never stopped. It's and it still hasn't stopped. It's just switching now, as more and more what you would call third world countries move up. <clears throat> as far as their their quality of life standards, I mean, granted, globally the quality of life uh, has taken a big tumble, and. <laughs> as well as uh, the human ability to reproduce, but that's another topic that we're going to talk about with Elon in upcoming video. This one I wanted to focus on the economic side of things because, you know, we, we talk about the war and the coming war, and I do think timelines have changed. It does feel like that, but again, timelines are always changing they're always changing you know nothing is set in stone that's that's the one thing we definitively get from the guides all of our consciousness is constantly pulling and tugging in all different directions but you will see uh concurrent with the war as it breaks out in earnest in in uh, a big time way you're gonna see that the economic situation is going to break out into uh, enormous collapse, especially on the side that has been uh, set up for the fall, which again is the U.S. and, and NATO at this point. Although it does feel that um, 
again, the possibility of different timelines is in play. So, you know, all these countries pulling their gold from the U.S., multiple countries telling the U.S., hey, we don't want your troops here anymore, uh, and then going over and looking at China and Russia and saying, uh, by the way, what can you do for us economically? What else, What can you do for us to uh, support us uh, in a military standpoint as well? Provide security. It's, it's the mob. This is, you know... This is what we have on the biggest scale, that that whole pay for protection program, Egypt, South Africa. You could see the list is huge. This is major. This is really, really major. Now, we know ultimately they want to uh, give us uh, a digital uh, system, in, which is nothing. You know, truly, it's based on nothing. Uh, uh, and so many people have already bought into um, digital currencies, and some people have done very, very well up into this point, uh, taking a little bit and turning it into a lot more. This is always done to draw people in and to sell people on the concept. So this person says, why the hell would a nation keep their gold in somebody else's country anyway? That never made any sense to me to begin with. Uh, yeah, uh, that's that's a very good question. Uh, again, it's all about it's all about you know the fact that which mob, which mafia, you know, it, growing up in Connecticut, again, uh, a very short way from New York, we were very well aware of the the mob and the mafia, and they were very very real. In fact, I went to school with some people that were in the families, uh, so to speak. So, yeah, this it's it's all about, you know, who are you looking for to, quote unquote, protect you? And again, there really is no protection in the system as it is right here. It is an unspoken blackmail and our entire system is blackmail. It's all blackmail, which is equating to slavery in reality. So where is freedom? It's out of the system. It, it's not in the system. So what is that going to look like? Well, it's going to look like people breaking off, I believe, into smaller uh, groups and working maybe just simply barter and trade, some sort of en even energy exchange. Uh, again, Michael Tellinger, Ubuntu, he's talked about this. Are there any feasible alternatives at this point in time? I don't know. Uh, we don't really focus on this so much. We focus a little bit more on the spiritual side of things, as well as uh, the pragmatic, just you know, being prepared for the chaos as much as possible. Um, gold and silver are always used as hedges against inflation and also, you know, really tough times and currency devaluation which when your currency really is worthless it's just an agreed upon illusion all of a sudden you have uh, those that were agreeing upon this illusion no longer at least half of them no longer wanting to agree with this illusion then the illusion just falls right apart and you can see 43 percent of small businesses were unable to pay their rent in april in fact you know all sorts of defaults are going on all sorts, you know, houses, uh, cars, et cetera, et cetera. It, it's tough times because, again, basic goods are, are getting to be um, more and more of the uh, income that people are making are, are just simply going to food and energy, and then they're having to cut back. You know, this is part of the plan, again, make real food very very expensive and unaffordable for the masses and they've definitely done that but hey you still have dollar menus mm -hmm. and and real food you know it, it gets so expensive so you think well why don't i just grow my own and then people start to grow their own and then they realize okay well this isn't exactly as easy as i thought it would be so they're having trouble there and then they move back to having to purchase purchase good food again and and it's just so difficult and i can't imagine what families out there that are doing with with two or three children you know trying to feed them in a healthy way and all of the 
all of the crap and all of the garbage is, is right there for everyone to just grab and eat and it's slowly poisoning the planet. And I understand baby steps need to be taken, but my gosh, it's got to start. The baby steps have to start. I, I see so many people that are okay with still drinking soda and drinking the energy drinks and drinking the monsters. It, it does get a little overwhelming and you wonder, you know, when are we going to turn that corner and hopefully we can all start coming together and helping each other out and people can give up because I, I think food is like one of the bigger, most horrible addictions out there because it's viewed as okay. Well, you know, People think, well, the FDA has approved it. It must be okay for my body. And they have that line to tell themselves as they purchase this food that is really poison. And, and, and it just makes it that cognitive dissonance that much easier to, to put into play. Yeah, absolutely. As you see this, Zelensky announces Ukraine is working on a security agreement with the U.S. that will fix levels of support for the next 10 years. The $61 billion was just the beginning. Next two U.S. presidents won't be able to switch it off, according to uh, David Sachs over here in this article from uh, Zero Hedge. Yeah, 10-year agreement, you know, that'll take you out to uh, 2034, 2035. Uh, basically, you know, they are planning where your blood, sweat, and tears is going to go, and it goes towards death and destruction and keeping them rich and keeping them money laundering because it's all a big money laundering scheme and paid protection anyway. The, the reality is if you pick a different mafia, a different mob uh, to go ahead and give your power to, you haven't changed anything. You're, you're again picking from the same system. It, it's, it's choosing to... Ignore the system, get out of the system, find a way uh, to let the system self-destruct. Uh, Elon has joined up with Chinese internet giant Baidu to develop an autonomous driving technology, according to media reports. Tesla stock soars as you know nobody's really wanting the electric uh, cars, and of course you know the lithium batteries and. Then we saw the Obama movie where they blocked bridges with the autonomous cars. I mean, it's it's just, it, it's amazing everything that's going on. I think it is meant to cause a lot of confusion because, again, they, they really want you to, to love e Elon. Uh, again, the heart and soul of a Draco lies within. There, there's nobody the system trusts more than Elon that we see because uh, he is important in the next wave of things. Yet, what are we seeing? We're, we're seeing, you know, obviously there's a lot of pushback. Ireland over here, you know, there's there's confrontations all the time with the UN-led uh, program to, you know, basically get everybody, get a big portion of humanity to uproot and go somewhere else <clears throat> because they are jumbling us up because they want to reset, redo that system on a major major scale and some people are happy with their traditions and customs and you know they just want life to go back to the way it was you know 10 years ago 20 years ago 30 years ago uh when there was so much less chaos that's understandable but really what we have to recognize is is that the system has been in play for a very very long time and and they won't understand this um, there was a cheesy movie uh, that we, we caught yesterday uh, where it was interesting because it was pointing out the fact that there are secret societies <clears throat> that manipulate things behind the surface, you know, give you, as we've alluded to so much time, so many times with the uh, health issues. Hey, you know, I mean, literally, selling you on a full frontal lobotomy to, you know, Get rid of all your anxieties. This this was something that was approved of, as were leeches, as as was radium, you know. And people are still radiating themselves, and they're still taking uh, hazardous chemicals into themselves all the time. And then the stories of the giants, and the only ones you really see, are uh, negative from the biblical perspective. But, you know, again, there were many different giants and giants were a reality. Look at this photo. You think it's Photoshopped? Uh, no, this one looks pretty real to me. And, and if this one, 
isn't real, we could show you a thousand more because there still are. Um, and there are so many articles that talk about giant bodies in the Americas being dug up. And then they're off to the Smithsonian and they're never seen again. And it's really just, again, constantly getting rid of anyone that has any sort of ability to defy the system as the system is looking for perfect compliance, perfect conformity, uh, people that won't question the system, just simply do your job, get straight to work. Don't question authority is what they will you know, tell you. And they feel that they're, you know, doing this um, because it's the most humane thing to do. They, they feel that the way they handle humanity and the way they handle people with abilities is for their own good. So, I mean, they think that they have uh, a one up on everyone else. And it's just, you know, it's how they hold themselves. It's how they conduct themselves. It's their belief system and everyone else has to come second. Do you think it's coincidental that we see so much flooding in the last, you know, seven years or so on a monumental scale? Well, because they wash away all the evidence all the time. And they could do that on a big scale or a little scale. They could wash away a problematic area or they could wash away an entire civilization. Again, you're talking about technologies that have been in play for thousands of years, thousands of years. As you notice, that's, these are supposed to be these over here. And again, <clears throat> somebody can go ahead and find something uh, to try to debunk it because most things have been debunked in one way, shape, or form uh, by the system because that's what the system does. It, is it, it professionally pays people to be professional debunkers. And yet, <clears throat> are there not a lot of people that wish they didn't do something back a few years ago that are paying the price right now, pretty obvious. And there's a lot of us that are like, well, I'm so glad I'm staying as organic as possible and I'm gonna keep detoxing that nano out of my system every single day. I'm not going to give in to the system. It's said that all rainbows are actually circles. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. It is very, very beautiful. So, you know, there never is an end to the rainbow. I think that's the trick. Uh, rainbows are, they always connect they always make a big circle and this one's unique where you get to see it but whenever i see these lights in the sky i look i look at them and i see light ships i think they're just beautiful yeah and i think about you know tying it into the beginning of the video we're talking about gold and many people are chasing that pot of gold well go ahead it's right there at the end of the rainbow and where is that going to get you but we have shared that um, the Anunnaki utilize gold, gold not to uh, fix their atmosphere, as Sitchin had said, but it is a life extension um, component to the gold that they utilize. And this little guy, he's just crashed his bike and he's trying to... <laughs> there he goes. There he goes. This is a little cutie. Turn to your pets if you want some pure love and if you want some uh, non-manipulated love and understanding your pets can definitely give that to you they i've never heard of a dog or a cat dumping a human ever 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 they would stay with us forever it's we're the ones who need to do better by them absolutely and i just want to share one comment that um one of our family members said when they were talking about the prediction by joni petri and um she was getting sand and she was thinking, you know, San Diego, San Francisco, San Antonio. And then somebody said San Andreas. And it's like, oh, yeah, that makes an awful lot of sense. Because, again, I do think that they will trigger those big quakes um, before we have uh, that Red Dawn scenario, if it's still in play, which... I think they have the intention of doing that. Um, yeah, absolutely. I, I think, again, they have all sorts of plans, A, B, C, D, probably all the way through Z, depending on how much human consciousness is awakening. So the more we can awaken people to the plans, maybe the more we can share the paradigm. And as always, guys, thanks for your support. Look forward to your comments. Source bless and namaste. Namaste.